I would love to tell you about our lives with Twitch. Um, we adopted her from the Dumb Friends League about 11 years ago. And she has been the quirkiest, most entertaining, most loving cat I think I've ever had. Right before Twitch was diagnosed, she, the morning that she was diagnosed, was acting a little funny. She was very quiet, very to herself, which is very unusual for her. So I took her to Dr. Sargent, our normal vet, and he did the x-rays and called me and said that she, he had found the intestinal lymphoma. And being the wonderful doctor that he is, he did the surgery that night and took about a foot of her intestines out, gave us Dr. Elmsley's number, called her probably the next day or two, um, and then got hooked up with her. Twitch presented to us in April 2007 with a diagnosis of lymphoma of the intestine. Lymphoma is the single most common cancer that we'll see in cats. She was presented to the family veterinarian with a very short history of inappetence. She, she had stopped eating essentially, which was completely out of character for Twitch. So when she presented to her family veterinarian, he performed a thorough physical examination and found a very large mass in the abdomen. This led to the diagnosis of the intestinal lymphoma. Surgery was performed to remove the tumor. Dr. Elmsley was very understanding. Obviously, she knows how to handle the family as well as the pets. And uh, explained it to myself and explained it to Twitch and made us feel comfortable. The reality was that we knew or assumed at the time that the treatment was just a way to prolong her life to maybe give us another year. In some cases, a surgery can be very important for curing a cancer. Unfortunately, in the case of intestinal lymphoma, although it allows a diagnosis, allows the pet to feel better, it relieves an obstruction if there is one, which was close to being the case in Twitch's situation, uh, surgery is not a cure in the case of intestinal lymphoma. So chemotherapy is really important as a follow-up treatment or within a month or two after surgery the lymphoma is back. So after Twitch had healed from her surgery we initiated treatment with chemotherapy. Lymphoma is optimally treated with a combination of chemotherapy drugs and of course we always worry, the pet owner always worries, how is my patient, how is my pet going to do with chemotherapy? Will they feel well? Will they be vomiting? Will there be diarrhea? Twitch was a champ. And that's actually true in most patients that go through chemotherapy. We'll see side effects that are significant in about 10 to 15 percent of our patients with, uh, that, are, that have lymphoma that are treated with chemotherapy. But the majority, 85 percent, do very, very well through treatment. And that's why we recommend it. We wouldn't recommend treatment. We wouldn't recommend surgery and chemotherapy if we if we didn't think there could be a good quality of life at the end. So, so she went through six months of chemotherapy. She did very well with the chemotherapy. Twitch tolerated the treatment beautifully. She, in the beginning, was maybe a little less likely to eat her normal diet, but never didn't not eat. She always at least ate something. She lost a little bit of weight. She lost her whiskers and her little eyebrows up here. But that was it. Really, other than that, you, we didn't see much of a change. She still played. She was still very engaged with us. She tolerated it very well. In most patients with intestinal lymphoma, the, the, the average survival time is less than a year, about nine to 10 months on average, depending what chemotherapy protocol we use. So we'll treat for six months, and the pet will have a few months afterwards. Fortunately, in Twitch's case, she remains in remission, went through just that one six-month protocol, and her quality of life has been great ever since. So we never know who that patient's going to be, and that's why we always encourage pet owners to try treatment. If the pet doesn't respond to chemotherapy, or it seems that the lymphoma is not responding or comes back quickly, then, then certainly that's not going to be the right choice. But every now and then we get a patient like Twitch, and that's what we're always hoping for. I feel very fortunate that she's still with us and doing wonderful.